industrial design is it's a discipline that includes three components art science and business art in the sense that we train here in visual communication skills that'll include hand sketching and rendering it'll also include digital skills it'll include graphic skills and branding skills in terms of business we spend a considerable amount of time educating our students on how to communicate and navigate through the business world. So you'll be equipped with fundamental tools, whether that's softwares, language. You'll be able to write a business proposal once you, you leave this school. And then in terms of science, we take on quite a bit of research here at the school. We're involved with uh, engineering, a lot of software uh, development as well. And then a growing part of the industry is the anthropological part, so what we call human-centered research or design. I, my belief on industrial design is very humanistic. Industrial design is understanding the mankind and the culture, or human nature, you know, that, that relates to behavior, how you operate certain machineries, or how people do things day to day. We cover every aspect of life. Your nail clipper could be industrial design. Your bottle for the manicure, food dispensers, to toasters, to microwave, to design of a jet airliners, or boats, or cars, or motorcycles, or interface. Another way to look at it is make people's life easier or better by designing something. So could be an invention of some new, new tools, machineries, new equipment that make your life easier. And I think that's one of the industrial design activity is to make your life better. The net results are innovative design solutions. Historically in industrial design, that included product. But what we're finding as the industry changes and uh, the school kind of evolves with the industry, uh, sometimes those solutions are not exactly product centric. It could be the design of an experience. It could be the design of, of a user interface. What we're finding and, and what we're pushing for here at the school is not only identifying problems that need to be resolved, but really looking for opportunities, taking a look at the, the market landscape for an interesting business opportunity for a potential client, for example. Our mission is to have students equipped with the skill sets required and portfolio good enough to be marketable. Visualizing an idea on a piece of paper I think is very, very important. We will teach you from scratch how to draw and we will give you the fundamental building blocks to build upon those drawing skills so that you are proficient. But the same can be said for digital skills. So if you are not familiar with Photoshop and Illustrator, uh, if you have no idea what Alias or SolidWorks is, we will give you those building blocks. We will give you that foundation so that you are equipped with these things and that you're hireable once you leave the school. But the same can be said for the theory of industrial design, understanding the processes and the methodologies the research techniques. If you have no exposure to those things, we will provide you with those building blocks and fundamentals as well. We try to teach the simple truth of what the good design is all about. Aesthetics is, is, is a big part of industrial design and it's certainly a big part of the program here at the Academy of Art. Students, in order to be employable, need to have an aesthetic sensibility. So whether that's in how they're developing a form in 3D or how they're executing how something assembles in a software or how the branding of their product exists in flat work or, 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 or poster work, aesthetics are a critical part of being an industrial designer. The curriculum and the uh, facilities are mirrored on what we see happening in the professional world. So when our students need a certain software, if they need a certain hardware, if there are tools in our shop that are required that are being used anywhere 
in the industry, we bring that in as soon as we can and try to dovetail it into the curriculum. So that could be a particular 3D software or it could be an enormous investment like a 3D printer. We have a dedicated museum. We have dedicated studio spaces, an in-house uh, computer lab, and then probably one of the better shops on the West Coast. We don't edit out incoming students. There isn't a formal portfolio review process where we eliminate or, or select qualified students. If you are interested, we will teach you and you can come from a background that is related to art or design, um, but we also have students that have zero background in art or design. We have a very high contents of international students, which is great because we nurture that global communication skills, the cultural integration, and I believe in exposing to different culture will give you a better designer. The difference between undergraduate and master's, undergraduate got a specific four field of study. It's a product design, toy design, furniture design, and transportation design. Uh, masters, we don't have strict major divisions. When the students come into the midpoint of the program, they choose the subject matter that they feel they wanted to accomplish. In the graduate program, we can really create a program, almost customize a program that really facilitates not only your interests, but the necessary team building that might be required in coming up with a, a creative solution. We work with faculty and professionals from all different industrial design and design disciplines. Once our students graduate, they'll have a degree in a portfolio that makes them eligible for a wide range of design opportunities. A lot of our students, once they leave the school, will work for either a corporation as a designer, they can work for a traditional design consultancy. Some might go on to work in their own business. Most of all, my mission is that finding a right company for the right skill sets of a student. I think that way the success ratio is higher and uh, employers are happier and, and students who get into it will be happier in the end. One of the advantages of having a school in the Bay Area uh, in San Francisco is that we are at the creative center of the entire world. We have an enormous group of local corporations. We have so many design consultancy here, such as IDEO, Lunar, a Smart, Frog, Fuse Project, Wananco. I'd say over 99% of our faculty are still active in the industry, and that's a critical component to the industrial design program uh, that we have teachers that are, are teaching what's relevant, what's current. The school is really a, a networking hub. Quite a lot of students enter different competitions throughout the, the year. We came in second or first or third, or at least the short list of final of ten. Almost every year we come in, in somewhere in that those competitions. Those are the indicators of a strength of the program. My, my own vision is that I'm educating hundreds of students, um, really deploying talented um, human beings that are equipped with a process that can make the world a better place. My expectation that they learn something from our school, our study, and utilize it in, in a field that they choose and be happy the rest of their lives.